Hello folks, welcome to XCOM 1993 or UFO Defense in the Open XCOM engine. Today we're actually starting the campaign. Uh, here's something that wasn't in the original, Iron Man mode. You cannot do manual saves. It keeps one consistent autosave all throughout the game. It does not let you manually save. You make a mistake, that's it. You're living with that mistake. But we're not playing with this mode, so we don't need to worry about that. We're going to play on the hardest difficulty, Superhuman. I'm only joking. I'm going to play on the second uh, difficulty level, Experienced, because honestly, I'm not that good. Sorry about that, I had to cough, unfortunately I still have uh, coughs. Let's start in good old Scotland. Yeah, in the kind of mountainous region there. Let's name the base Scotland. Just as, well, yeah. Here we have the base creation. First off, we're going to be placing the access lift. I'm going to um, miss out these five tiles here. I'm not going to put anything there at all throughout the course of the game. For one specific reason, which I'll get to in just a second. We'll put the living quarters here, hangers up there. General stores, labs, workshop, and small radar. The reason we put this um, this layout here is when our base is attacked, and it will be attacked if our base defences can't shoot down enemy UFOs before they get here, then aliens will spawn in the hangars and the access lift. They won't spawn anywhere else, thankfully. The reason why we put the living quarters right here is so that once they've spawned in these areas, we can essentially get them to a choke point, hence why I'm not putting anything in these five spots here. A lot of people actually use this, uh, well not this exact layout, you know, but they do do that, the uh, choke point. In the original game, it made it a lot harder to start off because you had a site layout, hangar here, hangar here hangar here, access lift here, something like that. So you would have to move the hangars up here yourself, which involves selling one of the interceptors, just deconstructing the hangar, moving it up, moving the other interceptor in, and then, you know, doing the same thing there. Thankfully we have that option to actually build our base how we like it, so that's a good thing. Before I forget, let's uh, rename one of the soldiers, because unfortunately we only had one name. Not in the comments, but one of my actual real life friends. He wanted to be called Louis Caesar. I think that's how you spell Caesar. Not too sure. Right. Hopefully he doesn't die on the first mission. Another thing that wasn't in the original, the memorial, where you'll actually see the names of the people that die. Let's get 11 quarters, a couple general stores, actually not just one. Healing containment. And we'll get another lab, why not? Let's get seven soldiers. Only fourteen can go into the um, the Sky Ranger, the dropship. And we'll get fifteen scientists. If we can't get any more. Let's live in space. We'll also get uh, four rifles and about twenty um, rifle clips. 
We don't need these uh, grenades, but we do need these. High explosives. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know I love my high explosives. Don't need them. We can sell these pistol clips now, because I'm never using those. Let's begin some research. Uh, laser weapons. Let's do that. Equip the craft. Take off those gosh awful pistols. Oh, it's only six rifles on there. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple more uh, rifles. So. I think that should be everything for the moment. Now here's something that wasn't in the original. This uh, circle here, this shows the uh, range of our radars. That was a fast UFO. We might be going into this with an 8 man mission. That is not good. Now I'm gonna send the uh, Sky Ranger. Wait. I do have two extra rifles so I can... Yeah, I put all the rifle clips on. Because... I'm gonna send the Sky Ranger after it, just in case it decides to land. Say it was to fly all the way over here and land like here. By the time I've sent the Sky Ranger from the base over to there, it'll have flown away. Wow! One shot. I should note if you destroy a UFO over water, it'll just be completely destroyed. Let's speed this up. Not even 8 minutes in and we have our first crash site. This is gonna go so horribly, as we only have 8 people. Oh dear. Now, this is the inventory system. This bit here, you know, this was all in the original. These stats up here, these were added in via the sentence. Thankfully. So we can see he's only got 47 accuracy, 34 reaction accuracy, which we'll get into in game. It's usually best to put things on your sh uh, on your shoulders. Because taking things from different places like belt, backpack, they take more time units depending on, you know. We'll get into time units in the game as well. So. I'm just going to pause the video here, I'm going to move everything up to the shoulders, and I'll be right back. One thing I should uh, point out as well, it wasn't all stacked like this, you know, like that's two rounds of normal ammo, armor piercing ammo rather. It wasn't all stacked nicely like that, um, like it would be like that in the original for every copy of every item you had. So if you brought 20 high explosive things, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pretty much this whole section here would be um, covered in high explosives. But here it's all neatly stacked. So that's really nice. And to change ammo, you bring the gun over to there, it'll bring out the ammo, and you could Whoop it in. But I don't want uh, armor piercing. Explosions are my thing. That's us pretty much kitted up. Time to die. What I'm gonna do at the start of each mission is I'll save. However, I will not save in the mission itself. 
you know, during the mission. I'll keep it. So if everyone dies, for example, I can reload the very start of the mission and try again. But the reason why I start the mission, it'll mean that, you know, say an alien was to move here, uh, first turn, right? Next time round, he might actually just move down here. And every move afterwards is just completely different. So, yeah. I'll say about the time units. Here they are. 52. Uh, if I was to go over weight, uh, how you saw the weight thing in the infantry, his max time units would be a lot lower. Well, the max would stay the same, but the amount he has every turn would go down. Anyway, enough, um, enough of this. Let's just move out. See what we can see. I've never seen this one before. That is very cool, actually. I've never seen that kind of UFO. I'm assuming that was added in um, Open XCOM. Don't tell me that's the actual UFO. I've honestly never seen this. Uh, how many time units do you have? You have 40, so if I wanted, I could take a named shot. But generally that's not what I like to do. 0% hit. He isn't facing my way, so hopefully I can move out just a bit and he won't see me. Because see, he's facing that way. So basically, if you know, he's facing that way, he's probably got all his time units, so whatever. He can probably take reaction shots. I was saying about them before, time units. If you look here, these are all the values uh, of time units for how much it'll take to do that action. Snapshot is 12. Snapshot is your reaction fire. You can just take one shot normally with it as well. If he was to move within my line of sight, I could take a reaction shot against him. Same with if he fires at me within my line of sight, we'll take a shot at him until the time units are down below the cost. So right now he'd actually be able to take two reaction shots, my soldier, because he has 29 and it costs 12. Different weapons have different costs as well. That cannon, that's got a lot of cost to use it. Pistols, laser pistols specifically, don't take much. And they have infinite ammo, laser pistols. All laser weapons have infinite ammo. They don't need to be loaded. That's why they are pretty dang nice to get really early on. Anyway, enough of this. Uh, still 0%. Got other people, so um, I'm gonna be ballsy here. Okay, you still have a reaction shot if he decides to try and move. Let's get you down and out. As you can see, though. Alright, look at the um, time units. If I make her turn this way, it costs one to turn. Kneeling, which does increase your accuracy, costs, uh, I think it's three. I'm just going to try it. Costs four, okay. It also does improve your accuracy, so. Like, I've actually got a 4% chance to hit now. Uh, take it. Oh, no line of fire. Oh yeah, this. So yeah, I can't kneel, unfortunately. 
1% hit anyway. Ah, nuts. Kneeling also increases your the chances uh, that you'll dodge a shot a bit more. So, yeah, smaller target. And if you remember, I do have the double click to uh, confirm a shot. So yeah, yeah, you're you're not really too accurate, Lewis. Yeah, even kneeling, you still don't have a good shot. Okay, take one snapshot then. <laughs> What did that cabbage ever do to you? Uh dear. Someone's probably gonna die. You do have another shot, so... Okay, let's end the turn, see what he does. Okay, how much damage did that... There's the example of the 0% damage. He actually took no damage. And yeah, you just click the rank right there and it'll show the unit's stats. So that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, let's move and... Well, actually, no, we're not going to use that. Um. Okay, what did the fans do to you? Oh, that was so close. That didn't go well. Alright. 3% to hit. Uh. Four. You could take an aim shot, can't you? Let's I never normally use this, but let's try it. Oh wait. Oh, 45. Oh well. Got him anyway. Okay. I've never seen that kind of UFO. That has to be something added in open XCOM. That has to be something added in open XCOM. Also, uh, just quickly, if you notice, the ring is also around the Sky Ranger, so it can also detect UFOs in a certain range. That was the fastest mission I've had. Two turns. But yes, someone got a promotion. Unlike uh, XCOM 2012, you don't actually gain perks, but your stats do go up, and I believe they keep going up, even if, you know, for example that um, lighter bit right there, that's uh, how much they've actually earned off of missions. And, where's that one dude, that, um, yeah it's only if you get promoted right now. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that one dude though, he deserved a promotion. He took plasma to the face, didn't die. Anyway, let's um, speed up. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we didn't get the soldiers yet. Uh, we'll only bring 13 rifles. Just due to the fact that, yeah. One guy's gonna have the heavy weapon. Ah, 
here we go. First off, let's equip the craft. And as you can see, I can't equip him because there's only 14 space. That's why I only got 14 rifles. We pretty much won't be attacked just yet. By the time we're attacked, we'll have lots of other stuff. So, yeah. Well, I remember, let's allocate these scientists. When the research progress hits excellent, that means the, the uh, research progress, it, well, the research itself will be completed at midnight that day. And as we can see, oh, or midnight within the next couple days. Sectoid Corpse and Alien Alloys. Alien Alloys will allow us to get some armor. Sectoid Corpse, um, I believe that unlocks the Alien Origins research project. But we're going for the laser pistol. We pretty much need them. So we can get rid of all that ammo from the stores. Stores is complete and laser pistol is also um, researched. But yeah, as you can see, it does 46 damage. And ammo, it has none. Because it's infinite, thankfully. Faster, more accurate firing. We could just pretty much unload like 12 shots down range with the auto fire. I should note the pistol auto fire setting that we went over. That's only for the basic pistol. Uh, let's allocate research actually onto the, um, the motion scanner. And let's uh, allocate the engineers to. Um, uh, if we right click, it'll produce infinite. Uh, we'll make them produce infinite of the uh, laser pistols just now. See how much we can sell for cash. Which you can do in this game. It's pretty much the only way to get uh, proper money. As you can see, three of them have been made already. And we can sell them for 20,000 of these. So. Three of them are coming off. And. Laser pistol. So yeah, they are pretty quick to make, thankfully. Living quarters. Good. Let's get 10 engineers and 10 scientists. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna sap my money, but we can sell some laser pistols if we need some. Okay, it's not too far. Once we get to the landing site, uh, I suppose I'll end off the episode because there's no way we're going to do that in one episode. Uh, how many laser pistols have we got? Three more. Okay, that's, that's all well and good. Now the only problem is, 
will we actually get there in time? So, just like the um, first one, you send the interceptor as well, just in case it decides to take off. Uh, let's set to five minutes. Yeah, it tried to take off. Come on. Come on, don't lose him. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Oh well, return to base. Did they change something with the... One thing I'm not sure of is, did they change the, um, you know, if you noticed how the battle thing came up, it started playing, but it instantly went back away. I'm thinking it might still be tied to the time here. If so, that's going to be a bit annoying. Because normally it would um, slow back down. Alien containment, so if we stun any aliens, we can get them. That's annoying. Motion sensors. Let's allocate some... Uh, Med kit. Start that. Uh, yeah, let's produce uh, as many of them as we can. They've already arrived. So, that was pointless game. As you can see though, the money is actually going down, because it does take money to make things. Let's do the alien alloys. Right. Stop production of there. We go back to the base. See how much is ready. Thirteen. If we had one more, we could actually um give the heavy guy one of them as well, just in case. I also forgot to take off all the rifles to sell. Because we're never gonna need these again. We can also sell the corpse if we want it, which is pretty funny actually. I wonder who would actually buy that. Uh, let's begin the manufacture of the uh, motion scanners. Cost per unit 34,000. Uh, no, I'll produce one. Uh, no, not medkit. Produce one. Just to see how much they're worth when selling. But yeah, I suppose I'll have to end off the episode here, because we're coming up on half an hour. This has been uh, Scottish Boy 112, signing out. And remember, if you just want a soldier, no one's died yet. That's got to be a good sign. Uh, if you want a soldier, just leave your name in the comments and I'll add you into the squad next episode. This has been Squash by 112, signing out.